Hi, during this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use one of the many different templates that we have for you inside of InstaBuilder to create your web pages in a matter of minutes. So here I am right now inside of the dashboard of InstaBuilder 2.0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a new page and you can see right off the bat that we have all kinds of different templates ready for you to use. Now, depending on what type of web page you are looking to use, we have these filters up here and you can sort these templates by sales page, squeeze page, launch pages, webinar pages, coming soon pages, or other pages, which usually consist of downloads and thank you pages. So we will choose a sales page, for example, and then we can even choose a subtype. We can choose a text sales page, a video sales page, a hybrid, or an OTO sales page. So I'm gonna go with a video sales page. And as you can see, when I am choosing these options, InstaBuilder is filtering out the rest of the templates and only providing me with the templates that match my criteria here. Okay, so here we are. We have seven different video sales pages that we can choose, and I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And when you mouse over it, you will notice there's a green choose button that is there. You're just gonna click on that, and InstaBuilder is gonna take you to the visual editor for that template. And once that loads up inside of the visual editor, you will notice that the template is already pre-populated with content. Now, I understand that the content that is pre-populated is not always what you want on your page, but that's no problem because with InstaBuilder, it's very, very easy to change, customize, add, and delete anything that you do not want on your sales page. So for starters, for the headline up here, you are most likely going to want to change what that says. So what you need to do is to click inside of that headline, then we have a little pencil symbol here, so we're gonna click on that. And now we can edit what this says right here inside of the InstaBuilder. So I could say something like, watch the video below to see how I made $15,000 in my first month online, okay? Well, now that we changed it, it still kind of looks a little weird, right? We need to make this look better, maybe make it bigger, maybe add some color to it. So what I can do is I can go back into here, I can click the pencil again, I'm going to highlight my text there. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Maybe a heading two, okay, that looks a little bit better. Maybe I can center my text a little bit better here. Maybe I wanna highlight the 15,000 here and add some color to it. Let's make that red. You know, maybe something like that, right? As you can see, it's very, very easy to change and customize the way that looks. Now below here where it says turn on your speakers, maybe I don't want that on my sales page. So I wanna get rid of that. All I have to do is click on it. And no matter what element you click on inside of our visual editor, you're gonna see there's a little trash can symbol. When you click on that, that's gonna delete that element from your web page, and it's gone just like that, okay? Now, maybe we need to edit this video, so I'm gonna click on the video. I'm going to click on the gear symbol here, and I'm going to paste my sales video information inside. Uh, if I'm using YouTube, I will use YouTube. I can use Vimeo. I can host it myself or embed a code from another website. So I'll make sure I paste that information there. If you wanna change the look and feel of the buttons, you can do that as well by simply changing the size of them, just like that there. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, just like that. I can change the size of the text, the color. I can even add a time delay to it if I wanted to. Now, what if you wanna add more content to your sales page? Because this sales page here is pretty minimal, I understand. Maybe you wanna add some images, maybe you wanna add some text, well, you can do that as well. If you wanna add some text below this video, for example, all you have to do is grab the text element over here and drag it and drop it. And we'll drop it below the social sharing there, just like that. And now we have this text here that we can go in, we can edit it, we can make it say whatever we want it to say. Maybe you wanna add three columns of bullet points or main features about your products. We can do that as well. I can drag this column section over here and drag it over just like that there. I'm gonna drop it like that. As you can see right now with this dotted line, we have two different columns. If I wanna add three, I just click on the plus sign and now we have three different columns. Or you can click on the minus sign and go back to two columns or click on the minus sign again and give yourself just one column here, okay? I'm gonna give myself two columns and now maybe I can add two different images here. The image is a little bit too big so I'm gonna shrink that down. Maybe something like that. I am going to copy that click and drag the other one over here. Maybe add a little title above these images. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna click on the pencil to edit this title and make it a little bit smaller. Maybe six like that there. I'm gonna center that text. Now I'm gonna click on it again and click on the duplicate feature here. And now we have two titles. I can click and drag the other one over here and drop it. 
So just like that, you can see how easy it is to add things and delete things from these templates. Maybe I changed my mind and I don't want this text here anymore. I can just click on it, click on the trash can and get rid of that text there. Maybe I don't want the social buttons. So I can click on that and I can delete that as well. Now, in some cases, you might be completely satisfied with your template. The main thing here is to make sure that your video is edited correctly and you have your sales video here. And for the purchase button here, you want to make sure that you go into the gear symbol and you edit that and you make sure that you change the target link to your order page or your download page or wherever it is that they need to go if they are looking to purchase your product. And that goes the same way with the templates for the squeeze pages or the webinar registration pages. You want to make sure that you edit your buttons and edit your opt-in forms and sync them up correctly with wherever they need to be going. So your opt-in forms need to be synced correctly with your autoresponders. Your webinar pages need to be synced correctly with your webinar registration pages and so forth. So like I said, these templates are very easy to edit. You can just click and drag things around and position them however you want. If you don't want something, you can just click on it and click on the trash can to delete that from your template. And at any point, if you want to change the template that you are working on, you can go up here to the gear symbol, go to change template. You will lose any saved information on the page that you are working on. Click on OK, and then you can choose a whole new template that you want to work on just like that there. And that's just how simple it is to use our templates inside of InstaBuilder to build your marketing pages.